pretty toasty in here, sir. Montgomery today um to do a little bit of shopping and to get out of the house so I have been wanting to go to Whole Foods thanks Howard I've been wanting to go to Whole Foods can I get one more thumbs up y'all I love Whole Foods and we don't have one in this area so um on my trip back from Atlanta I discovered that they had a Whole Foods which was a couple exits up from where we get off to go toward back towards base. So I decided to stop there. And thanks, Jones. And I was just real happy that it's one close by. So Whole Foods is about an hour and a half away from where we live here on Rutgers. So we decided to go up. Thanks, Jackson. Um, to do a little bit of shopping i went to chipotle's today y'all know i love chipotle um and i got a salad with the vegan meat option i can't think of what it's called a frasco something but it was delicious and this morning i had a green juice with some cucumbers hey jackson and then we went to montgomery so I'm in the process. I'm about to take my weave out, so that's why I'm looking real crazy. Um, but yeah, we went to Montgomery today, and we went to T-Mobile store. We went to Booze. We just rode around, and then we went to Whole Foods. So everybody knows that the Super Bowl is tomorrow, and I wanted to have some vegan options. I'm going to be cooking, like, some chicken wings and some regular hamburgers on the grill and sausage for my husband and my neighbor. And I'm going to also have me some vegan options. And I'm super, super excited because I love experimenting. And y'all going to see some really lit, like, videos coming up this week and next week. So we got a cake video coming up tomorrow, strawberry shortcake. We have a spinach artichoke dip. We have a pasta salad. Uh, and one more. Make sure y'all go check out that baked spaghetti video. And check out Pineapple Vegan. Um, and I'm doing a collab with Cooking with Honey on the cake. So y'all make sure y'all check out that video tomorrow. And we have a Spanish artichoke video. It's just a lot of videos that I've been recording. So I do plan on recording a breakfast video tomorrow with some of the stuff that I bought. So I'm going to make a vegan omelet tomorrow with some grits. <laughs> so you guys... We'll definitely see that. But let's talk about what we got from Whole Foods. There's not really a lot in these bags, but I'm going to start over here. So, first thing I bought, which is not for the kitchen, is I, since I went vegan, before I went vegan, I was having a lot of issues with my skin. I couldn't use regular soap, so I switched to black soap. And I could not find this soap. They were selling it on post, and then they stopped selling it. And I couldn't find it in a local store. So, I was using another black soap but this is the best black soap you can get and i found it at whole foods again so if you're having problems with your skin or you have a baby who adds eczema or something like that this african black soap by narabi is like the bomb so this is good for your skin uh, even if you're not vegan it has aloe vera oats and vitamin e and it's black soap it's it's the bomb it really helps with your dry skin. And I realized, too, it started when I used it consistently. It helped with my stretch marks, too. Lighten my stretch marks up, too. So, what did I get? I got some grains that I wanted to try out. So, 
I wanted to try out some black rice. I don't know if you ever guys have ever seen it, but it's called forbidden rice. And the reason it's called forbidden rice is because it's the type of rice that they used to use in China only for like the royal family. But this is what it looks like. So this is black rice. So I'm going to be doing a curry dish with this. You guys will see this in the video. So I bought a little bit of the curry black rice. Then I, I mean some black rice, um, the forbidden rice. Then I bought some um, red rice. I'm trying a lot of different grains. So you guys are going to see a lot of different videos like this. So this is what the red rice looks like. I got that from Whole Foods. Um, I'm not going to be using that. And then I bought some pure sugar cane. Because y'all know I'm trying, I'm getting away from using regular sugar because I found out that they use bone fragments in it. Um, so I'm trying this sugar out, but I've also ordered some organic sugar too. But yes, this is like raw sugar. Let me see. That's what it looks like. So yeah, I ordered that. I got that from Amazon, um, from Whole Foods. So you guys are going to see me making some stuff with these three items. Um, let's see what else I got. So, I got some more Follow Your Heart Vegan Cheese. This is mozzarella. Even if you're not vegan, you would enjoy this cheese, y'all. I made a bum-ass spinach artichoke heart dip the other day. And the video is coming up, too, with this cheese. And the Follow Your Heart mozzarella cheese, it was banging. You cannot tell the difference. My husband ate his whole little dish in five minutes. And I was really skeptical. So I got some Light Life Smart Dogs plant-based. Because I'm going to put these on the grill tomorrow with some onions and peppers. These are really, really good. I like these. I like these and what other brand? Um, It's not Gardenia. It's a... Uh, Reg, you know? What's the name of that brand we always buy? Morningstar has their hot dogs. You lost me. <laughs> it's Morningstar, right? The other one. So I don't use, I use Morningstar, but these are good too. But they only put six in the pack. Okay, so you, I use those. Hot, these are really, really good. What else? So I got some nutritional yeast seasoning and a lot of vegans use this for like the cheese to give it that cheesy flavor and it's also good um to put in your salads and stuff it has a lot of minerals um so a lot of vegans swear by this this is really healthy for you and it gives you that cheesy taste too a lot of them like i've seen like what made me really want to get this is a couple vegans i've been watching like i said um I see her use a lot of this. Um, her fine apple vegan. Like, y'all need to go over and check out her channel. If you want some bomb recipes and you're not vegan or you trying some dishes, like, definitely go check her out. I'm not trying to ride her coattail, but y'all, she is so cute. And I have fun watching her videos. And she's really, really talented. Like, in my head, she's my vegan best friend. I'm not crazy, but I just love her channel. Um, but yeah, I got some nutritional yeast. And that's really good. And then I got some more Just Eggs. Um, I love these. Y'all, they taste like eggs. They really good. So I'm going to do a video with a vegan breakfast. I might do a vegan um, because I have sausage already in the freezer. Um, the gardenia breakfast sausage. And I got peppers and onions. So I'm going to do an omelet tomorrow and I may actually, would you guys like to see a southern vegan breakfast or would y'all like to see an omelet? Because I can do grits now, honey. I got butter, okay? I got butter, like I'm totally prepared on this side of the world, okay? So I got butter, you know, I got grits, I got toast, I can make some vegan biscuits. So if y'all want to see a vegan but, um, southern breakfast or omelet, let me know you say southern breakfast. Let me go ahead and put that in the refrigerator. Then, yeah, that's what we're going to do. But I have the, these sausages are good, too. Um, so check those out. What else? Okay, so that bag is empty. Not much more. Um, <coughs> I got some coconut milk because I'm going to make a curry. A vegan curry. 
You said I can't choose. They both sound good. Yeah, they do. So I'm gonna make a vegan curry. Um, with potatoes and black beans. It's gonna be really good. I um found a recipe that I'm gonna be using, so y'all be on the lookout for that. What else? I think we got two more items in here. Um, so tomorrow is Super Bowl, right? And I wanted to do meat and hamburger. So I bought the um Beyond Burgers plant based. I got it's two in a pack. They were on sale for like three dollars at Whole Foods. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make these burgers, but I'm gonna do them how I do my usually burger, my regular burgers. I'm gonna chop up some celery, I mean some onions, not celery, onions, bell pepper. I'm gonna season it real good, put a little steak seasoning in there, um, put a little A1 seasoning in there to kind of give it a more beefy texture. So if y'all wanna see me remix these hamburgers up, then let me know, cause I'm about to trick these hamburgers out. I'm about to put them on the pole. And make them do something real strange. Um, and then I got some hickory sage flavored bacon. So this is vegan bacon. And I'm going to use this tomorrow to make me a vegan. Um, oh, I got some other things that I didn't get from Whole Foods. I'm going to show y'all that I bought this vegan. So I have some vegan Follow your heart sandwich cheese. So I'm going to use this and the um, bacon to try and recreate that burger that I got <laughs> from Slutty Vegan. Because I realize this is the kind of bacon that they use. So I have this bacon right here. I'm going to use this. And then I have some tempura that I picked up. This was the other day. So I'm going to do the tempura on the grill too and make me a grilled tempura salad. So yeah, so y'all, if y'all want to see what I'm cooking tomorrow, then let me know. And I'll record what I'm cooking. Um, I'll record some of the non-vegan stuff. I'll put this in the refrigerator. And I'll record the vegan stuff. So y'all let me know. What y'all want to do, um, I got to finish my juice too. So I got green juice I've been drinking. Um, vegetable, I've been juicing for the last couple of days. Um, I don't know if y'all can tell, but my face is starting to come back down. My neck rolls are starting to leave. So <laughs> I've been juicing and trying to get myself on the schedule and record it. I got myself on the schedule. I go to sleep around 9, 10 o'clock. I'm up at 5 or 6. I edit, I record, and I try to work out. So I'm on the schedule so that I can keep y'all flowing with videos through February because I feel like I owe y'all that much. Um, what's the next another video I got coming up? So I have a lot of people who ask me how did I switch from regular deodorant to the crystal? And it was a process. Um, because a lot of people are trying to get away from the regular deodorants and they're trying to use natural deodorants, but the problem they have is when they switch to like the natural deodorant and stuff is that they still get stinky armpits and they have to keep reapplying it. So I'm going to show y'all in a video this week how to detox your armpits, um, what deodorant to switch to, and how long you should use that deodorant, and then how you switch to the crystal. It's a process. Most people say it takes them two months. It only took me a month to switch like a month a month and a half to go to using the crystal um and it's basically you just have to detox your armpits so i'm gonna do a video on that y'all want to know how to transition especially for you ladies because they're saying a lot of the chemicals in the deodorant it's getting into these glands here and that's what's causing a lot of breast cancer so if y'all want me to show y'all a video on how to do it the right way so that you can do it quicker and you won't have to go through that funky stage where you're walking around like this. Because you don't want to lift your armpit. Then <laughs> let me know. I'm still going to do the video, but I feel like that's a very um, good video to do. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of women are getting away from using these deodorants, but they just can't deal with the funk. So it's a process and you really do have to detox your pits. Okay? You do. There's no way around it. You can switch and over time it'll happen. But if you detox and you switch. Like I, I started detoxing. And then I did the native deodorant. 
And then after the native deodorant, I went to the crystal and I had no problems <clears throat> um, at all. Uh, my armpits used to be really dark. I can't believe I'm showing y'all this, but I need to shave. My armpits used to be really, really dark and they have lightened up. Like you can still see some of the darkness over here, but they have, my underarms have lightened up. They don't itch as much. Um, I don't get ingrowns. It just, it completely changed a lot. Um, okay. That's a little strange. But yes, it has really been helpful. And I've noticed that like on my, under my arms, like the sides of my boobs have gotten softer too. They're not as hard. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do that video. Um. Can I get two more thumbs up, please? Two more. So I put up a video. I don't know if you guys saw them because I put them up at weird times. Um, thanks. Um, so Cameron said that y'all need to watch his cinnamon roll video, okay? Because <laughs> I told him, you know, you can see how much money you make on each video. So I told him... That since he did the cinnamon roll video with me, and I lost the ending clip with him tasting it, but I told him since he did the video with me, whatever I made off the video, I was going to give him half of it. So, camera said, y'all go watch his video. And he going to come back and do another video with me. So, um, y'all please go back and watch that video this weekend and the baked spaghetti video. And then y'all have some more videos. Like I said, y'all got one coming tomorrow. The one for Tuesday is already up. Um, then y'all have another for Thursday. It's already recorded. I'm going to be recording Monday and Tuesday to get more videos for the following week. Um, so, the breakfast video will be going up. Um, okay. So, yeah. So, y'all y'all just work with me. I'm on a schedule. I feel better. Um, I'm feeling like myself and, you know, everything is going to get back to normal on the channel. I'm going to go live later this week and we're going to have fajitas. So I will be going live. You guys will be seeing me going live more. I'm um, going to do some sit down talks and I am going to be ordering some spices because I've been trying to like try some new spices. I knew I had it. And I haven't been on live, so y'all, I'm trying to catch up, too. And I got to get ready to go in a few minutes, because me and the hubby are going to see a movie. Um, so, when I got back from Atlanta, I'm going to show y'all this. Um, my neighbor bought me these spices. Um, so, okay. She bought me these spices, and it's penazine spices, penzi, penzi key spices, I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, but she bought me these spices, and she gave me a gift card, and um, this is the seasoning salt, this is the brand, and I got a $50 gift card that I'm going to be using, so I'm going to do, I'm going to order some of these spices, and I'm going to test them out, and I'm going to do a whole video on them, but this is the um, pepper, the black pepper, um, and let me see, so I can see. So y'all can see. So this is one of the spices. This is the black pepper. And y'all, this seasoning stock smells so good. It's like, it smells so good. I wish y'all could smell it. So I'm going to be ordering these and doing a, um, a haul on them. I got a, a couple of like samples that she gave me. So I'm going to let y'all know. Russian style seasoning. California sweet basil. So I'm going to be using a lot of these. Um, and Friday. Oh, this is the gift card right here. So y'all going to see me ordering um, and trying these new spices out. I'm going to um, order the curry so that I can do the coconut curry. But thanks, Celeste, for that. Uh, what else? I guess that's pretty much it. Like I said, I'm going to show you guys. How to do the detox. I'm going to do that video. I'm probably going to do that tomorrow after the Super Bowl. But I am going to record what I'm cooking tomorrow for breakfast. So you guys will see a vegan Southern style breakfast. I'm going to record it tomorrow morning. And then 
I'll record myself remixing these vegan burgers. So that'll be two videos right there. The armpit video, and I'm going to do some more videos. Do you guys want to see a video, a juicing video? I've been juicing, honey, and I've been detoxing. Every time I start to juice, I have breakouts, little breakouts, and that's how I know that it's like cleaning my liver and stuff. So yeah, if you guys want to see a juicing video, I can do that too. We can juice live. It's loud, but you know. So yeah, I got a lot of stuff to catch up with y'all on. Um, and I will be doing a makeup video soon. I may go live and just do my makeup one day. Um, so you guys can see it because y'all seem to like that. Um, and then I'm going to do a clean with me because my office is a mess. So I'm going to do a clean with me video. I see a lot of people like that. I don't know why people like to watch people clean up, but I'm going to do that, okay? And yeah, so all the videos for next week are already recorded. I'm going to start this week recording the videos for next week. And the week after that, so you guys are going to get a lot of videos in February. But yeah, please go and check out the last couple of videos. I'm trying to learn. Yes, it's a struggle. I was giving, look, vegan life, I am still new to it. I'm still learning. I'm still learning balance. I like fat vegan food. But I will tell y'all this. I juice now. I'm juicing more. I'm eating one meal raw or maybe two meals raw a day and then i'm having a cooked meal or something that i want and that's why my chin fat starting to go away again and my arms are going down so if y'all see a couple videos and i'm a little puffy that's because i was coming off of the fast and i was still a little inflamed but i'm getting back down to my normal size i'm like five pounds away from being at my weight i was before the holidays um so bear with me i go back to the gym tomorrow morning um, so I'm just really trying to get myself back on track. Um, but I know now why I made the decision to go vegan and it was the best decision for me. And I will never take that for granted again. And I will never ever take for granted going to the being able to get up and go to the gym and just feeling real good and feeling good about myself. And I realized too, um, I had a lot of anxiety, um, when I was eating meat, I was a little kooky. And that was another reason why I had to pull myself off the internet. My whole mood changed. I felt unstable. I was having a lot of like anxiety and emotional issues. I felt like my hormones was off. My cycle was three days late, y'all. And it was horrible. I just had a lot of problems. And I know that it was because I had so much animal products in my body i'm not being like dramatic or nothing i started doing a lot of research there are some people who just cannot tolerate animal products my sister my husband everybody around me can eat those things and they're fine they don't have those issues now my baby sister she can no longer eat beef anymore because when she eats beef her body can't digest it so she ends up having to vomit it but she cannot eat beef and she can't really do a lot of dairy it don't do good with her <clears throat> and um, that's how it started with me. It started with beef. I would have a hard time breaking down beef. So <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised in a couple of years if my baby sister is a vegan or a vegetarian because um, she's having a lot of problems with breaking down beef. And that's how it usually started. That's how it started with me. And my other sister, she has very low tolerance for dairy and she doesn't eat a lot of beef anymore either because it messes with her stomach so i'm thinking maybe it's my mama kids <laughs> maybe it's my mama kids there's something wrong with us because when i was around 30 which the age she is that's when i started having a lot of problems with like digesting beef and dairy so some people just can't and i have an aunt who i have two aunts who cannot eat beef and one of my aunts said the only time that she feel good is when she stopped eating meat for a long period of time and when she started back eating meat she started back having a lot of issues so i'm thinking maybe it's something in my family because i have a lot of people in my family they eat meat but they eat a lot of seafood and they don't necessarily eat a lot of red meat and they can't they have a hard time digesting it so i'm thinking that it's something in my family and i just caught the worst of it because all my ailments kind of went away when i my vertigo kind of like disappeared and that's like having an invisible illness because people don't believe you um my blood pressure leveled out my anxiety everything kind of just like changed um and my eyes 
got dark again. They had like red lines in them. Like they're so clear now. Like my eyes started getting funny looking too when I was eating all that other stuff. So yes, everybody don't have to be vegan. Being vegan for everybody ain't ain't the, ain't the gist. Being vegetarian for everybody ain't the gist. But just make sure you're not consuming too many animal products, basically. So yeah. That's what's been going on. Oh, I got another video. Honey. <laughs> tell your mom I got a special place for her in my heart. Because that shit ain't no joke. Let me tell y'all. <sighs> you can look normal as hell. But feel like your whole world's spinning. You can look up at something and you lose your guts. Okay? You will crawl. Your smells. Ears. Change the elevation, honey, honey, honey. Let me tell you, I feel like a crackhead sometimes when I have a vertigo. <laughs> and I really hadn't had any. My ears had stopped. I'm telling y'all, all that stuff kind of like went to a minimum. But after the Christmas holidays, after what I did, and I didn't even do that much, y'all, it just tore me down. So I'm still having dry patches on my ass, okay? And I fasted, and I've been detoxing, but I feel like it's going to be a whole nother month before my body is back to where it needs to be. Honey, that vertigo, and she 83? Lord, I'm going to pray for her. Because and it, it can be triggered by lights or anything, like... Bro, don't let me see no flashing lights. Them kids with them little light up sneakers. Oh, I'm done. Hmm. I, I will never, my children will never ever be able to wear them little light up sneakers from Walmart. Them Batman sneakers, they can love them all day, but they can't wear them. Hell no. Them things, them light up shoes, all that, I can't do it. Mm -mm. Nope, can't do it. Can't do it, won't do it, stop going, no. Mm -mm. So, yeah, that's what I did today. So, I'm going to get off here and kind of get myself together because I go to the movies, honey. I dress in sweats. Um, I don't be cute. I wear a big sweater. And the movie theater we go to has, like, these reclining chairs, honey. And, yeah, I'm about to get ready to go to the movies. Like I said, I am going to record myself redoing the vegan hamburgers and then I'm going to put them on the grill and let y'all see them. Um, just to give y'all a quick rundown of how I redid it. So that's going to be a video. Like, I'm going to finesse these vegan patties. <laughs> and I guess that's it. Um, I'll see y'all later. Thank y'all for tuning in. Thank y'all for giving me a lot of thumbs up. Like I said, Cameron said, <laughs> go watch him. Help me make the salmon rolls. Um, Chloe made a debut on the video too at the end. She was talking about cinnamon rolls. So y'all go say hey to her too. Because we don't want Munchkin feeling left out. Because you know I really don't put them in videos. But he was very insistent on being in that video Christmas morning. And um, I wish I could have saw him eating the, eating the cinnamon roll. Because he was like so into it. But um, we couldn't. I couldn't find the clip. Um, but yeah. He definitely told me to say y'all go watch his video. And I think he might have seen that it, he was like, well, I can see, but I want everybody to watch it. So, y'all leave him a comment, too. Um, and I'm not going to fall asleep in the movies. I never do. We're going to see Doolittle. And what else? Um, go check out that baked spaghetti video. Even if you're not a vegan and you want to use turkey or ground beef, it's the same recipe, honey. Just add whatever kind of meat you want, but the recipe is bomb. Um, and if you just want to try something new, because um, Boca is cheaper than ground beef, you want to try something new and you don't want your family to know, make it before they ask come home and let them know that <laughs> after they eat it, <laughs> it ain't meat. <laughs> it's meat, but it ain't meat. They ain't going to know, because one of the soldiers came by and she had some, and she was like, sis, you lying. This is not meat. She's like, this ain't no meat in this. And I was like, no. And she was like, ain't no cheese. I was like, it's vegan cheese, sis. She was like, why you lying to me? This is not vegan. And I was like, sis, 
that baked spaghetti is vegan. So, y'all go check that video out. It's a quick, easy video. You can make it. It's one of those meals, if you got teenagers, you can teach their ass how to make it. And when they get home from school, you can have everything ready for them. Put the spaghetti sauce in the crock pot and have them to boil the noodles. Or you can boil the noodles and mix it all together. You can cook the spaghetti in the crock pot with the noodles and have them to put it in the casserole dish and put some cheese on it. And baby, you got your, you got it ready, all right? I'm trying to tell y'all. I'm trying to help y'all, okay? I'm trying to help y'all. I'm trying to help y'all, okay? I'm trying to help y'all. But yeah, <laughs> let me get out of here. I love you guys. I see y'all tomorrow. I'll give y'all a preview of the food. But I am going to record some breakfast, Southern Vegan Breakfast in the morning, okay? I'm going to record that. And um, then I'm going to record myself remixing the the hamburgers and then i'm going to show y'all what i grill and then you know i'm going to do the video on how to detox your funky armpits so yeah good night y'all i see y'all later